Hello there, and welcome to Harmony's Dreadful Tyranny. I'm your host, Harmony, and I just realized I don't think I actually introduced myself last episode, so whoopsie daisy. Anyway, let's let's look at this nightmare thing. We talked for hours. It was hard to understand, but it got better as ta at talking as we went on. It told me that it came from a place not far away. Just shifted one over. Like another dimension but one up but up one instead of to the side it was part of a whole once an adventurer it didn't know why it came but this knew wasn't it didn't know why it came but this knew this wasn't supposed to happen it was supposed to be whole and it was scared oh my god okay I forget what he's called, but the entity from three that has possessed that's possessed your character. Um, I remember they were talking about how there are pieces of him just all over the place, and he thought if he could grab the biggest piece, uh, per se, that he could, uh, well, what's it called? Go home. Um, the problem is, is one that that didn't happen. Two, uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, things got, things got, things get wacky in his, uh, with his, uh, presence, so this is one of his presences. I, I recognize those red eyes anywhere now that I think about it. That's, that's interesting. Okay. Let's go find it. Let's go find the uh, next puzzle then. I, I want to bet it's like upstairs again, up there. Whatever there is. Look at that. That looks evil as hell. All right, time to... He actually need that intro then, because I... Darkstone Digital. This is probably the fifth time I have tried launching this game, and I I, I gotta say, I, I have to say, uh, this is probably one of the most infuriating technical difficulty I've experienced. I'm going to try and power through it instead this time. Barring being unable to actually do anything, I, I, I don't care. I don't care at this point. Good night, everybody. Bye. Hey, dude. <laughs> you the last one here? Yeah, yeah, it's uh, it's been a busy one. I have some things I need to set up for tomorrow. Sucks for you. Hey man, we can't all just wander around in a suit pretending to work. Screw you, man, this... Hmm. ...takes town. How about you have Amy conjure up some overtime for me there, magician? Nepotism. I won't stand for it. So you want me to wait? Give me one second, let me just, uh... Ba -ba. Thank you. Wait. Nah, it won't take too long. I'll see you tomorrow. All right, just remember to lock the gate. Amy was pissed last time, dude. Oh, wait, there's something down here. It's some weird-ass book. Um, I, I 
don't know. This looks like it belongs to, like, maybe the Psychic or something. I don't know. Put in your lost and found. We'll figure out who it belongs to tomorrow. I got one last trick. I'm going to disappear. Later, dude. Stupid. All right. I'm going to take a look at that list. All right. So, list. Cool. So... Can't leave yet. Need to get my stuff done. Back here is, uh... Interesting. Can't leave yet. Need to get my stuff done. Safe. Oh boy, it's starting. Okay. Fuck off. Fucking finally. It's weird. Need to get my stuff done. Lock back door. Oh my god. Hold on. All right. What else is on the list? Oh my word! You Hi. The shit out of me, man. Wait, who are you? What the fuck? Look, man, you need to leave. We're closed right now. One. What the hell? Can you use a controller? Not really, like this. Okay, so fun fact: I can use a controller, but not really. Oh, was this thing just freaking out because of a controller? Let me in. It's freaking out because of a controller this whole time. Hi. What the hell was that? Where's the first aid kit? Damage uh, restored. I don't want to go out there. I need to keep the doors locked. One of the junction boxes must be out. I should check the breaker in the back to see which ones. Four. Cheap keychain light can be replaced when battery dies. Huh? Okay. Better look out the side window before I go out there. I don't want to let that thing in. Crouch to stay quiet. What am I looking for?
I should consider looking at that old book. Lock in. Lock. This is locked. Lock. Um. Open. Paleography Department, March 5th, 1954. Researcher Edwin Lurdy found document. Age not yet determined. Possibly 1300s. Item number whatever. While following my work for the day, a colleague had found this manuscript reportedly hidden inside the lining of a streamer trunk found in their most recent shipment of antiques. Upon first inspection, there are a number of intriguing aspects to this book. I will be recording my findings and compiling everything as I perform my work. Note, Edwin, the print is heavily faded apart from what looks like a title page with the word blod, which, given the estimated age of this book, could roughly be Middle English. Danish, Norwegian, or a number of other origins translating to blood. Uh, the text is basically unreadable. It looks as if the pages have been written multiple times in different languages. In this very particular find, while the faded writing doesn't appear to be any kind of cipher, there's a card that looks as if it could be used to code. Markings seem to match with the picture gra pictographs after I have assessed the rest of the book. Take another look at this. Uh, the card has two moving parts controlled by the center button. Wheel that rotates and a set of holes that change configuration. There is a lens in the holes of hold of the ring that adjusts slightly with each turn of the wheel. Theory is that the lens is used to reveal something within the book. Exactly what is unclear. I'm paranoid. Uh, I feel uneasy. I, I have solved the first pictograph as it turned the wheel to match the star to the marking. Symbols would burn into the paper. On solving them all, this, a symbol of the sun appeared at the top of the page. There are no mechanisms within the book to explain this. It's out there in the dark. My documentation may become a guide to others should I die. I believe some, it is trying to keep me from solving the book. I hate to write on such an old piece, but I believe the curator, creator of these images was attempting to stop this, and I should do the same. Oh, my God. Okay, give me a second. I just, uh, bup, bup. Bup, bup. Oh, Okay. So use use on book pages sun. Uh three answers found on page hard bottom. So what happened? How do you move this? Picture of a star. On here and it burned in. Okay, interesting. No. That freaked me out. So two and six, okay.
So I think it's if I make too much noise, he'll show up. I don't know which one that was actually. Is there like a map to the park that I just haven't looked at? Oh, there it is. It's like right over there. Alright, so I'm starting to question exactly how to avoid him. Because it just seems like he teleports. This is locked. All right. Um, let me say something. So, what is this asking? Oh my god, there's a map here. Okay. Ugh. Well, let's start with the sun on top. Oh, that's how it goes. Okay. I see now, I see now. God, I feel stupid. Then again, I'm constantly having to double check and make sure this stuff is all locked. So we just turn this like that. So next would be the blood. Okay. Symbol of blood. Only two answers here. So right here. Back to blood. And then right here. Next would be the skull. Okay, let's uh, double check and make sure everything is locked. I don't like how quiet he's been. The skull down here, two to the side. Skull down here. And 
maybe it's my frequent checking that's uh keeping him on it like I'm freaking out on me and last one here I noticed he was more active the less I did After turning the ring to have the sun at the top, I decided to look at the pages of the book through the ring, believing the lens in the middle may reveal something. Correct in this assumption, when the ring has the proper image at the top, it can reveal hidden symbols on empty pages. On discovering a symbol through the lenses, it became burnt in the circle on the ninth page. Something horrible I simply cannot fathom is bound to this book, and I believe completing the circle is the answer to stopping it. I will be using the answers. Why the fuck would you believe that? I will be using the answers from each pic pictograph to scan the book as I reveal them if I long lo live long enough. Using the answers from each pictograph to scan the book as I reveal them if I live long enough. I have no idea what that means. There's an illustration that appears to be depicting some sort of seance. Symbol on the ground is the same as the one on the ninth page. The symbol above is foreign to me, but looks similar to that of a uh, Bindrund. Bind rune as if something is meant to be bound to this book. Kept it locked away. The book was meant to contain it. The book was meant to contain it. The symbols are the key. I'm going to die. There's a little more I can do to, uh, uh, to do, but leave whoever may find this notes. I believe the only way to stop this is to find all the symbols and complete the circle on the ninth page. What I've come to understand is adjust the card to match the answer of each pictograph. Fucker. Uh, based on the illustrations, draw the circle on the ground and place the book on the center once completed. My hope is this will trap whatever it is that has been set loose. I don't believe there are any symbols to be found before the title page of this book. Lost too much blood, it's drinking it. I love you, Amanda. There is a loose paper in the back of the book that is an oil-like substance. It is clearly some sort of pattern, but too faint to make out. Hold on. Got to, uh... I'm going to try and obtain an ultraviolet light from our conservative department. Uh... Clue to solving this. Cool. I think there's some spray paint in the break area. Slide, uh, adjust card to puzzle symbols. Slide card over each page to find the four symbols left. Paint symbol from page nine on the ground. Put the book in the circle. Adjust card to puzzle symbols. Slide card over each page to find the four symbols left. Motherfucker. Okay, so...
Just the card to match the answer of each pictograph. Move the card over the pages of this book while looking through the card's lenses to cover old symbols. Okay, so 45 to 46 is the sun. And do what with those? I probably have to click on them. like that. I'm pretty sure I already have this symbol. Nineteen, uh, so twenty nine to thirty blood. Hold on. Locked. Locked. Come on, come on, come on, come on. In the wrong page. 29 to 30. <laughs> Fuck you. Six and seven. So six is there, seven is there. Okay. I'm fairly certain that any time I discover a new symbol, it's just going to, uh... He's just going to, you know, pop the lights. Alright, so I did the blood. Now let's do the skull. 33, 34. Right. Yeah, 33, 34. Skull. 33, 34. Blood. Um, so let me say one and two.
Ugh. I, I need to get the power back on. I don't know why you do, buddy, but okay. Damn it. I need to calm down when that happens. I need to. I need to QTE. Oh boy. Okay. You know, now that this game actually works, and by actually works, I mean I actually figured out what the problem was with the, uh, the controls. It's a really fun game. I do kind of wish there was less predictability in the fact that you will just turn off these lights at them every time you solve one of the symbols um where is he Okay. Okay, we should be good then. I heard him. I stayed quiet. And he Oh my god! <laughs> me in my own f in the, the fucking house what the fuck oh screw you diamond never used a diamond what was it uh 19 to 20 Where are we going? Two and four. So literally opposite ends. He really likes t uh, turning these off. I don't know why. I mean, honestly, it's not like he's patrolling or anything. He just kind of teleports in. That's locked. So I did the sun blow. No, I didn't do the sun. Um, skull went to that, which didn't go into anything. Let me see something. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. The blood. Skull. One, two, three, four, five, six. Diamond. One, two.
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Damn it. So is there a rhyme or reason to this or 23 to 24 Sun, blood, skull, diamond. Wouldn't it be the star actually? Because it can't be a repeat. <laughs> Fuck off! Okay, so it's not... It's not the star. Aha! <laughs> Completed book. Where am I? Oh, right there. I think there's some spray paint in the break area. The break area. Where's the break area? Hold on. Employee break area. So I just have to crawl inside the break area. Try not to get stabbed. Spray paint, cool. Well, I can get stabbed three times before uh, Mr. Tall, Dark, and Stabby finally gets me. I should have gone this way. Hi! I was loyal. Many have tried to follow my intimations. Yeah. To save themselves before my wretched host drank too deep. 
of their blood. Uh huh. All have failed. Are you just gonna to kill me? I, listen, I let I let you free. But you were never meant to be saved. I let you free. I'll serve. I am grateful. You have freed me from this this prison. Grateful enough to let me go. For that. I don't think you know the joy of immeasurable suffering. I don't think you know the definition of grateful. May your blood bring glorious pain. You know, I had a feeling that that was going to be the case, but come on. I really liked that voice actor though, that was good. blood all right well that was fun that was once i got my situation handled it was good i need to remember to not have my pl controller plugged in but otherwise that was good i enjoyed that um i feel like the gameplay loop of having the five symbols was a little slow um and I definitely felt like you could have done more with having that a teleporting dude, I guess, Edwin? I guess he was Edwin. Um, potentially Edwin, or it was just the manifestation of the book. But either way, just have that be more pronounced. Like, there were a few moments where I saw him just kind of lurking. But I don't know if me hiding around the all the uh, attractions really kept me from being able to see him or not. Um, regardless, that was fun. I enjoyed that. Well, well that well now that oh, and here's the symbol. Well, now that that's done, I bid you all a good night. Night. Hey.